Hello students, I am Dr. Vidya Patil, serving as Assistant Professor of English at Government First Grade Women's College, Bidar. This video is for BSc 3rd Sem Basic English course, which is prescribed in the colleges affiliated to Karnataka State Akkamahadevi Women's University, Vijayapura. So let us now begin with the first session for BSc 3rd Sem Basic English. This session deals with inner voice, which is the first unit prescribed for BSc 3rd Sem Basic English course. The main objective of this session is to help the students understand the different topics which they will be studying under the first unit. By the end of this session, the students will get a clear idea about the different topics which they will be studying, that is both the lessons which have been prescribed under the first unit as well as the two topics which have been prescribed under the grammar and composition section. The first unit is titled Inner Voice. English language is generally used both for fictional as well as non-fictional writing. Under the non-fictional writing, letter writing has been one of the most popular forms of writing. But with the advent of the telephone, letter writing has almost become redundant. The present generation very rarely uses this form of communication. The first unit, Inner Voice, will help you understand what exactly is the concept of letter writing. And it will show you how letter writing can be a mirror of the society or an extension of your own self. Letters are usually written at two levels, one at the personal level and the other at the social level. At the personal level, the letter is a spontaneous expression of our own feelings and thoughts. The writer in his letters reveals his innermost feelings and thoughts and thus the letter becomes an extension of his self. At the social level, the letters hold up a mirror to the age in which they have been written. They reflect the various customs, traditions, norms followed by the society in a particular age. These letters become a reflection of the society in that particular age. The first lesson is titled The Quest of Man by Jawaharlal Nehru. This lesson is an example of an informative letter which is both direct and informal. By reading this lesson, you will get a clear understanding about the life and works of our first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, who was also a great writer and orator. This lesson will help us get a clear idea about his distinctive style of writing. Through the lesson, we can understand the man's eternal quest for knowledge. The second lesson is titled, My sons are remote. I no longer know what they eat for breakfast. This is written by Kamla Das, who was one of the first famous women writers of India. In this lesson, she informs us about the status of letter writing in the late 20th century. She describes how the phone had gradually begun to take the place of letters. Through this lesson, we can understand the beauty of letter writing. Now, after studying these two lessons, you will be ha having to study two topics under grammar and composition. The first topic under grammar and composition is homophones. Homophones are those words which have similar sounds but 
different spellings and meanings. The students will become familiar with many such words and this will help to enrich their vocabulary. The second topic under this section is prepositions. Prepositions are words which show the relation between the subject and the object of a sentence. These words can show relations of time, place, purpose, direction, cause, agent, etc. So these words, which are usually very short words, but play a very important role conveying in conveying the meaning of a sentence. So the two topics under grammar and composition, which you will be studying under the first unit are homophones and prepositions. This brings us to the end of the first session. I'm sure students, you have now got a clear idea of what you will be studying under the first unit, Inner Voice. Thank you.